Hi Gemini, this is your August mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. And I'll do a love from the past, aka the X spread. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this uh, second half of August. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the King of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Cups. We also have Strength, clarified by Death. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And we've got the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Leo, or um, Taurus, or Libra. Um, yeah, you've got... Somebody coming into your life, Gemini, and um, it kind of looks like you'll have to have courage to move forward with them. You may even have to change a few things in your life or let go of a few things in your life in order for you to be with this King of Cups. Or it could be happening to them that they have to let something go or change. But it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so worth it. Let me jump the gun real quick. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is marriage, right there. There's no other way to interpret that. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, and right next to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, which are both commitment and marriage cards, this is a proposal. And this is marriage. The Empress on the bottom of the deck is definitely <laughs> somebody who is married, or even expecting a, a, a child. But we start off with the Page of Cups right just a page right the page of cups is classified by the king of cups all the way to your left the king of cups could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces if they're not a water sign this is somebody who is mature in control of their emotions but at the same time still very loving right the page of cups this is them reaching out to you or approaching you purchasing you um, a beverage or giving you flowers you know the Page of Cups is the nicest page out of all four pages, if you ask me. I don't mean to insult the remaining three pages, but yeah, the Page of Cups, it's all about um, taking walks in the park, it's all about them writing you poems, <laughs> being just super nice to you, paying a lot of attention to you, giving you lots of compliments, right? And that quickly upgrades, so to speak, to the Knight of Cups. Right, the next, not the Knight of Cups is the next uh, step up, I guess. Um, the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Cups is the knight in the shining armor, and it's all about genuine, authentic love. You see how we got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, so lots of love. All right. <laughs> then we have Strength by clarified by Death. So this is when things are going to get serious, and things are going to going to get serious quick. Strength is a personal Leo card, Death is the personal Scorpio card. If this King of Cups is a Scorpio, it makes total sense. But um, let me tell you this, uh, for like 0.01% of you, you could also be talking or dealing with a Leo right now, and uh, you will be ending your connection with that Leo, so you could move forward with this King of Cups. But that's just for very, very few of you. Okay, for most of you, strength with death represents courage to move forward with this person. And what that will most likely entitle is for you to change something, transform something. Or that could be applicable to them or even both of you. Perhaps this person is from a different background. Perhaps this person lives in a different country and you guys may have to, you know, move for them. Or they may have to move for you. Um, perhaps your belief system is going to fly out the window, you know, because we're, you, you know, what, we're not ourselves, we're in love. You know, perhaps in the past you thought that you would never, ever, ever fall in love with someone like this person, whatever their deal is, but, uh, you know, never say never. <laughs> right, Gemini? So with strength, I think this is courage for you to transform your life, to transition your life, to make changes in order for the two of you to be together, right? And um, like I said, it's going to be so worth it. The Empress on the bottom of the deck um, is abundance in its purest form. This is a card of somebody who is expecting a baby. This is a card 
of um, a future wife or a future significant other figure. And in my express, the Empress usually shows up as a sign from above or a stamp of approval for a connection to move forward. And uh, like I said, in the potential outcome, two marriage commitment cards and the proposal card. But the thing about the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, it's like you're getting the best of both worlds with this person. The Ten of Cups in this case is, uh, um, it's, that card is often called the uh, the best, it's the best card when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages and the Ten of Pentacles is a card of practicality. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, you know, have financial abundance together. So essentially you're getting the best of both worlds with this person and that's why it's going to be worth it for whatever changes that need to be uh, taking place for the two of you to move forward. Yeah, big, big the rest, major, major the rest of August for you, Gemini. That's, that's big. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do an extended for you because that would be a waste of time. I do see the two of you, um, you know, making it happen. Really happy for you, Gemini. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, the spread is for you. We got the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. Wow, Gemini, just wow. Look at this. I think the Ace of Swords belongs to you and I also think the Ace of Wands belongs to your significant other. Whatever their zodiac sign is, it's just that we have we have to have two Aces <laughs> on the table, right? And both of, the, both of you are on the same page. Both of you, you guys could be traveling because we got three travel cards on the table. You could be um, purchasing a new car, the chariot could be a vehicle, or you could be starting something new and both of you are 100% on board. This is just crazy. We got, there's two really fast cards in the tarot deck and both of them are on the table. The eight of ones is the first one and the chariot is the second one. And they could symbolize travel, they could symbolize a brand new beginning and you just can't wait to get this started. It's like you guys are itching to start this or you're itching to travel, you're itching to buy that car. Right? The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle or again it's a card of travel. Right? Uh, if you buy a new car then it's obviously um, <laughs> a new cycle in your life. You could be purchasing a new car and uh, going on a road trip. You know, or it could be some kind of a new beginning, something fresh, something just as fresh as it gets. I'm out of my vocabulary. I've reached the uh, limit of my vocabulary. <laughs> but again, the most important thing is that we've got two aces on the table. As I mentioned, I believe that one of them belongs to you and the other one belongs to your person, to your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and uh, you're, it's like all systems go, full steam ahead. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Gemini, in the second half of August. Uh, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have this. We have uh, the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Six of Cups. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Four of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess, and the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with any zodiac sign. We don't have any court cards. We don't have any major arcana cards symbolizing, well, the high priestess. But I usually don't uh, interpret it as a, as a zodiac sign. Anyway, whoever is coming back from the past, uh, this person is nothing but trouble. This person made you cry. This person broke your heart. And uh, you're not having it anymore. The Nine of Swords, this is the way this person made you feel. This is you not able to get out of bed. This is you stressed out and depressed after the two of you broke up. Or that's how they treated you while the two of you were together. The Six of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And the rest of the spread is you fighting this person off. <laughs> I think this is just the way of the universe to kind of show you that don't let this person back into your life because the Ace of Swords, this Ace belongs to you because you are a king or the queen of swords so you're cutting them out of your life and uh, you may even have a few words for them that you're, they're not going to appreciate. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, the Seven of Wands, this is you fighting them off. The High Priestess clarifying the Seven of Wands uh, is your own intuition telling you to do that and hopefully I'm also uh, partially responsible. <laughs> 
right? Um, yeah, your intuition will basically tell you that no way you need this person back into your life. The five on one so on the bottom of the deck is a card of a conflict, it's a card of a fight, it's a card of drama. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely a no-go. All right. So, yeah, that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this reading for the second half of August. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing the rest of August.